Well, here's a guy whose name around Major League Baseball means hits. His name is Torrey Hunter. Will he be a factor? We're going to find out today. 2K Sports and Major League Baseball welcomes you. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. The role of starter, that's Joel Pinheiro. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? A good right-hander on the mound in this one. If he executes the scouting report against this lineup, it shouldn't be too difficult for him to come up with the outs necessary to come away with a win. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? If you want to see power in the lineup, just look at Carlos Quentin. This guy can hit it out of the ballpark and hit it out anywhere. It doesn't matter if he's pitched away, he'll take it to right. If he's pitched in, he'll hit it to left field. Great power stroke, but the thing he's been working on this year is his consistency. And it's Juan Pierre now. He's leadoff man in our game. Left fielder, number six. Juan Pierre. Pinheiro with a windup. Smash towards the middle. And the leadoff man of this ball game's on board. See if they get it started early. Now batting for the Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. Hit sharply down the line. And his tourist gloves that one. And that'll hold now the runner at first. The Chicago White Here's how the Angels stack up on the diamond. Scouting oh, these fielders. Out. Steve. Well, solid defensively up the middle. Eric Ibar is a guy that can make every play defensively. He has terrific range and has all the ability and instincts to make plays. Now Paul Canerco batting with a runner on first. Well, the thing about Paul Canerco now at this stage in his career is he'll play a lot of games at first base, but when he needs a break, he can go to that DH role. He's not a guy that's going to steal any bases. He has hardly any speed left, but he's a run producer in the middle of that lineup and a leader in that clubhouse. Well, we've got a moment to look back to last year's Chicago White Sox and see how they rank. Sixth in home runs, sixth in stolen bases, and they were in the top ten in team batting average with runners in scoring position, getting a lot of clutch base hits, and that's a great stat for a team that wants to win ball games. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. Pitch out. Nothing doing though. Pinheiro with a windup. Strike three. Clinton on a swing and a miss. He's out. So Joe Pinheiro, that's a fine piece of work. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And the Angels, their first chance coming right up. And uh, we'll get to see Jake Peavy pitching. He's going to start for Chicago. Steve, as he gets into this Angels lineup, what's he looking at? Well, as a hitter, you take a look, you know you're facing Jake Peavy in this one. And you know, you've got some concern because he has that explosive fastball and then that nasty slider. Peavy gets so many ground ball outs, he keeps the ball in the ballpark. As a hitter, you want to try to get him to elevate his pitches and hit a mistake. And here's the first one. Swung on, line softly toward the left side. And that one's going to drop in. That's their oh, first hit. Let's take a look at the lineup the Angels have that's brought to you by Pepsi. Scouting Big John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, Howie Kendrick, to me, is a guy that has finally figured it out how to play this game. He's been up and down in the big leagues the last few years, but I think he's ready to stay right now. He's a guy that can do a lot of things. He's got some pop in the bat, although he's never been a big home run guy yet. I think with consistent play, he can be a 20-25 homer guy. He can steal a base. He can do a lot of things on the baseball field, and he can play some great defense, too. And it's Kendrick batting. He's number one in runs scored in the league. A runner on first, no out. Oh, 
This one swung on, hit down the line and right. Rolling into the corner, that's going to be extra bases. Ibar is going to try and score here. And he crosses the plate all the way from first base. Just a solid offensive player, day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Well, he found a pitch to his liking, and just like that, it's 1-0 here in the first inning thanks to that big RBI double. RBI opportunity, Kendry Morales. Offense, when you get it, well, it doesn't matter what part of the game it is. Well, they've got themselves something to build on. Well, they staked out an early lead in this one, just where they want to be. Well, you know, when you hit like this in the first inning, you start to anticipate maybe a healthy bit of run support coming in this game. Strike two. Peavy dominating in this A.B. He's got some pitches to play with. Now, Gary, they're taking advantage of some early pitching mistakes. You have to do that because you never know if those mistakes are going to happen later in the game. Take advantage of the opportunities. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching work. And it's Torrey Hunter at the plate with one away. Well, one of the most complete players in all of baseball, Torrey Hunter. Another strong season. You have to remember, too, he hit 22 home runs, drove in 90 runs, but he missed almost a month in the middle of the season due to injury. He still almost hit 300 at 299, and he plays great defense. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got him at 0-1 right now. There are very few players uh, who you can say about them. Fans will come to watch them play defense. Torrey Hunter is one of those. You'd buy a ticket just to see him play some. Well, the gazelle-like strides at six foot two. He covers so much ground. You know he's not afraid to run on the wall. And the pitchers absolutely love having him out there because if he's going to give himself up to make plays for them, they're going to bear down and make better pitches against the hitters. That's a pretty fast pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. Two outs and a runner on second. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Time to fish for that one, nothing and one. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Strike, strike two. No balls, two strikes. Rivera now got to protect that strike zone. Slider misses, and it's one and two now. Well, that breaking ball down and in is a tough pitch because the hitter oftentimes swings over the top of it or he pounds it into that front foot. That's swung on and a liner here. And it's through. Base hit, Rivera. And Kendrick will score. Now he takes this one two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact, and he got it. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swung on and missed. Peavy getting it by. We're going to get a chance to see that nasty sinker ball of his. That pitch has some serious bite and action at the end. And here's the pitch. Oh. Napoli will foul that one away. Line towards second. Beckham. Throws to first side is retired. And it didn't take long. Our first two runs. First inning. Trouble coming. The Angels lead it two to nothing. And Beckham's in the box. Second base, number 15, Gordon Beckham. Lined right at the second baseman, and it's caught by Kendrick. Well, let's take a look at the Angels and where they ended up last year, rank-wise, in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position. They were also ranked number one in hits, a lineup with depth that can make contact and find their way to base. 
One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. On 2009, the White Sox find themselves in the middle of the AL Central Division. A big part of that was their failures on the road in 09. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. I'm talking about the White Sox on the road. The adage of baseball, of course, 500 on the road. Well, they weren't able to do that. 36. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. And Abreu tracks it down. This ball looked good coming off the bat. I thought it would carry a little bit further, but the right fielder able to keep a beat on it, roam back and put it away. Base is empty and two down. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. And there's Hunter for out number three. Well, how about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. Tremendous. The Angels still out in front. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Bobby Abreu. It's Bobby Abreu to lead off. I don't know if you got a chance to see his last ball game, but he picked up two hits in that one. Swung the bat well. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Plays off that one outside, 1-0. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And that'll retire of Rayu. And Woods batting right there in the top five in home runs. Nobody on base, one away. Swung on, and that's foul back. Strike two. PB dominating in this AB. He's got some pitches to play with. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball. Unbelievable action on that pitch. You're Sinker out. swung on, I'll missed. That's out Los number two. That's a pretty fast Third pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. Nice but a fantastic strikeout good. pitch here. It's headed down and in, and the batter just didn't time this thing right. He never had a chance on this one. Absolutely right, John. And as in real estate, it's all about location. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Throws on to first side is retired. Three up, three down for Jake Peavy. He settles down after giving up the deuce in the first. And it'll be the white side. None other than Ozzie. That's Ozzie Gian. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. You saw their last game. You saw what a big part of their offense he was contributing with three base hits. Pinheiro with a windup. Swings a little early that time. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He's normally not called upon to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now, the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile. He got that one done. And it's Mark Kotze in the box now. Batting average for him, 3-4-2 against Joel Pinheiro. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. And He'll the hold there at the second Chicago base. Credit team. him with a double. Well, this pitch six. right here catches Four way too much the of the plate, and he absolutely demolishes it. Let's see what they want to do here with one out and a base open. 
Runner on at second. RBI opportunity now. Juan Pierre. Well, coming off of a game where he swung the bat extremely well. A single, double, and triple just short of the cycle. Only lacking the home run. And I'll tell you what, he's locked in right now. There's a swing and a line drive. Base hit, chance for two. Kotze will try and score. Good play. offensive chance here. Number 10, Alexi Ramirez. Well, this guy's always a threat to go. He steals a lot of bases, so they're going to have to keep a close eye on him, and maybe they'll make a mistake to the hitter paying attention to the runner. First pitch on the way. Ramirez will foul that one away. Now Napoli sets the target. Hit in the air to left center. Two away. Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead attack. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. And one of the top ten averages right now. Pinheiro with a windup. Line fair down the line and right. That one headed into the corner. Going to try for at least a double. And Conte crosses the plate. Pierre is heading home. And they tag him close at home. He wanted that run. He didn't get it. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. The White Sox, they're not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. Top of the lineup coming up. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. It's Ibar at the plate. Here's the first pitch. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0 1. Pitch on the way. And he squares around, gets down the butt. Peavy. And his throw gets him. One away. And it's Howie Kendrick. Doubled home a run in his last at bat. One out, faces him. And he starts Kendrick out. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. So Kendrick is down. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. Two outs and nobody on. Here's a swing and a line drive. And there's the third out. No strikeouts, but you talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters gone. The Angels two, the White Sox one. Big bats ready to make an appearance. The fourth inning for the Chicago White Sox. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinty. First pitch to Quinton. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Over his lifetime, 293 off the Angels. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And Rivera brings that one in. One away. And Beckham's in the box. You talk about Gordon Beckham and the fact that in his rookie season he hit 270 in 2009. That tells you that this kid has a lot of discipline at the plate. Pinheiro with a windup. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And it's caught by Hunter. Two away. So Alex Rios will try and keep it going. He flew out his last time up. And he starts Rios out. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. This one beyond him. It's going to be extra bases. 
Rios towards third base. The throw gets in there in time. He is safe now at third. This is why the triple is so hard to get. You get a ball hit the center field like this, generally you take a double. Now with this kind of speed, he can make it look easy as he goes in standing up. Some kind of speed and now 90 feet away from scoring. It's going to be Brzezinski. He has a 286 batting average against Joel Pinheiro. And on third, two outs. Here's the first pitch. That one goes foul. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down and away. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. And Rios comes in. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Here's what that double has done. A look at our Pepsi WPA graph. Boy, I don't know in that count, Steve, number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. And Mark Tien up. And sometimes you get offense when you don't need it. This time they got it right when they needed it. Uh, Gary, that was a big at bat. Swing and lined up the middle. And another hit back to back. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the county. Back up the middle. That's down. The run's coming in. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. Well, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. I mean, now it's four straight hits. He's got to start wondering what's going on. Maybe he's tipping his pitches or they're just figuring him out. And here's Juan Pierre. And with the lead, this lineup looks ground ball to his tourist. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Cleanup batter. Do up next. It's a nice day here. A little bit on the chilly side, but certainly not enough to detract from the game. Corey Hunter. And it's Torrey Hunter in the box now. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And that's too low, 1 0. Now the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Hunter can't make contact. Count now even. He hit 333 last year against the White Sox. Here's the 1 1. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's 1 and 2. Well, coming off of a game where he swung the bat extremely well, a single, double, and triple just short of the cycle, only lacking the home run. And I'll tell you what, he's locked in right now. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. One two pitch coming. Got him. One away. Coming to bat. That's quite a break for him throwing that pitch at 86 miles per hour. Number 20. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And it's Juan Rivera at the plate. Well, Juan Rivera, 2009 with the Angels, he was a guy that you thought might be a platoon guy, you know, a part-time starter. He ended up getting 529 though at bats, though, hit 25 homers, drove in 88 runs for that powerful Angels offense.
Here's the 1 0. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And they'll record the out at first base. Good timing on that play. Well, he might not have been able to get him out of the plate, but a short run over to first and still retires his knee. Two outs, base is empty. And the first pitch. That's a strike. Peavy gets it by him. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. Here's the pitch. And two strikes on him now. Mike Napoli, he'll take a look at these next pitches very closely. On the way. Napoli will foul that one away. Swung on, that is hit. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No scoring here, ending this half inning. The White Sox maintaining their lead. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Shortstop, number 10, Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. Rolling into the corner, that's going to be extra bases. There's the throw. Ramirez is headed for third. Well, it's so important for your team to get guys on base and in scoring position early in the inning. And that's exactly what he did with that double. Pinheiro with a windup. This is a swing hit in the air. No, that one is foul. The pitch towards the middle. Up next, Carlos Quinton. Well, that's 10 hits right now in this ball game for him. And you know, you're going to have to wonder how much longer the manager's going to stick with this guy. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. First pitch to Quinton. A swing and a ball hit high and deep down the line and right. Goodbye, a three run homer. Now they lead by four, a three run homer. That one brings home three, and our Pepsi WPA chart shows us how it adds to their chances. Home runs often come from mistakes, Gary, and he either chose the wrong pitch or had the wrong location because that four-seam fastball is way out of here. It's going to be Jason Bulger on the mound. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, this wasn't the type of start the pitcher wanted or the manager wanted or his team wanted. Now they've got to see if the bullpen can do a little bit better. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Oh, and he swings on a dirt pitch. Guess he couldn't see that one. Well, Steve, we know this lineup's capable of doing this sort of thing, but boy, if you're on the other side, you got to really feel like the hit. Now swing and a shot toward second. And Beckham set down. For the Chicago White Sox, center fielder. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. Rios. And the 2009 season was a big disappointment for Alex Rios, starting out with the Toronto Blue Jays and then continuing on when he got traded to the Chicago White Sox at the trade deadline. Things just didn't get better, and he hit up the middle. Oh, my, that almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski for uh, Rios. Just a 247 batting average last year. Nobody expected that. No, not at all. And this is a guy who's a former All-Star. You looked at him in Toronto, and you thought, we can build a team around him in Toronto. It just didn't work out. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Too late, and he is safe at second. And he is safe at second. That's a great situation for some offense. Number 24, Mark Tien. A 
doesn't matter who's on the mound or what they're throwing, these guys can hit it. They are just together building confidence and whacking at it. And here's Martian. He's hit 283 lifetime off the Angels. He's up with it. That's one out. And there's two, a double play. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. The White Sox, four run lead. Latter third of the lineup coming up. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crutch, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Bobby Abreu to bat. He'll lead off for the home team here in the home half of the field. First pitch to Abreu. Cutter just misses. 1 and 0. And PV with a 1 0 delivery. 1 0 pitch. That's a cutter in there. 1 1. Even with the late movement on the cut fastball, you don't want to throw it up in the zone because a hitter can fight it off and muscle it over the infielders. Good rip at that one, but he misses one and two. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Abreu will foul that one away. Good eye by Bobby Abreu. It'll even the count up. Come on, Halo. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And the cut fastball's in there. Strike three, one away. Well, they climbed the ladder with the fastball, and he just couldn't catch up to that high heater. Brandon Wood. And Wood's batting. What a year for him. Top five in homers. Base is empty, one out. Now the first pitch. Oh. Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. One oh on the way. Oh. Cutter just off the black and he falls behind two and oh. Now the 2-0 came with a sinker, 2-0, but he missed it, 2-1. Well, it looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Can't catch up with that fastball. He's evened it up 2-2. Fastball got him two down. That's a pretty fast pitch right there. and Hard to get that much break on it. Number two straight fastballs he still couldn't catch up with. Well, pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And we've got his tourist batting. He had eight hits and 20 at bats last season against the White Sox. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Now Przinski positions himself. Oh. That one goes all the way back to the screen. It's a ball. Swag on. It's hit. This one towards Pierre. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. No runs, no hits. No one left on. The White Sox six, Angels two. Sneak a peek there at Mike Socha. The thoughts of a manager, one can only speculate, but at this point, you've got to believe he's, he's got some words for that next practice. And it's Mark Kotze in the box now. He deals. 
This one's wow. grounded foul wide of first. Swing and a miss on the ball that was off the plate. 0 and 2. Uh, coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So, got to be seeing the ball pretty well. Swing and a miss gets away. He's heading for first. He gets the throw down to first base, and they'll get the other. That's a great play there by the catcher. When the pitcher throws one in the dirt like that, he's really hoping the catcher will block it, keep it in front, and be able to get the out at first. Kind of plays that can change the momentum of a game if you don't get that out. Here's the first pitch. Here's a curveball, swung on and missed, 0-1. Oh well, anytime you see that curveball leave the pitcher's hand, you have to think it's going to break down and in, but when it's... Line shot into center field, and it gets down a three-for-four game. Good hitting job. So now that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start Ramirez. creeping up to where you want it to be, and he's on now with one out. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Sharp curveball, swung on and missed, 0-1. Oh and, and Alexi Ramirez is a guy who can do a lot of things offensively, kind of like an Alfonso Soriano. Hit sharply towards the hole. Now Tremendous Danny, situation now for the White Sox. Alexei Ramirez, uh, first seen in the 06 World Baseball Classic. He had an impressive series. A lot of scouts uh, hoped, and the White Sox were the ones that got him. Oh, and he started out in 2008 as their second baseman. 2009, he got switched to shortstop, his more natural position, and he seemed to handle it very well. Fouled off that first pitch, and it's 0-1. Checks him at second. A dive, and he's back in easily. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it gets down. That should bring home Pierre. There's the throw. Pierre scores. Not in time, and he scores. Now and he'll batting. stop at what second base. Chicago That'll be a two-run double. Fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. Uh, Gary, they keep lumping the hits together. They keep pulling away right now. This thing could be soon out of reach. And maybe, Steve, this one already is out of reach. they got to find some fortitude to get back into this thing. Strike two. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes, Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Uh, Gary, as you were saying, I mean, it may be getting out of reach because right now You're they're out. grand slam no, okay. through with the lead. So a lot of pressure off the pitcher. Go out and throw strikes. Go right at him. Boy, this is a spot for a three-pitch strikeout. Well, it is, and when you have runners in scoring position, that's when you want to be your nastiest, and that's what he was. And Beckham's in the box. Lifetime numbers eight for 24 against the Angels. First pitch, liner towards the hole, and that's the third out. That'll do it. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Eric Ibar leading it off. One for two in the ball game. Number two, Eric Ibar. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Here's the pitch. Ball. And that one will head all the way to the backstop for a ball. Can't make contact on that fastball. One and two. The one-two pitch. 
Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first down. Here's the cutter coming at you. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. And it's Howie Kendrick in the box now. Well, leading the league in home runs. And he starts Kendrick out. And he takes a called strike. And that misses for a ball. Now, if you got a chance to see the last game, you saw a pretty special offensive performance. He hit two home runs in that game, a big part of the club's offense. Swing and a miss on the slider. One and two. He got him so far. Eight strikeouts today. Okay, now I'm going to get a chance to see the cutter here, Jerry. Number eight. It was not a good looking swing on that pitch. Well, good at bat starts with good swings, and bad at bats end with bad swings. I think he'd want that last swing back if he had the choice. It's Morales at the plate. He has uh, he's not hit well in this particular matchup. Just uh, 167 off the white side. Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. Towards center field, and in there, base hit. And that's going to bring Torrey Hunter to the plate. Center fielder. But with Torrey Hunter in your lineup on an everyday basis, you expect great things from him. And they're expecting that from him today. Now, every once in a while, he has a tendency to be inconsistent. He'll go into a little bit of slumps. But when he's hot, he's one of the best in the game. And we'll see if he can be hot in this one today. If he is, this team has the great chance of putting a win on the board. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. Here's the delivery. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Hunter, one of the good 0-2 hitters in baseball. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Tried to get him to go after that cutter, but it's one and two. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. And the throw. So they can't make the play. But Gary's to make the error right there. You just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Oh. Yo, a little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. And on a full count, he got him. That's nine Ks now. Solid outing moves on here, Jake Peavy. He's recorded nine strikeouts and counting. And it'll be the White Sox. And Alex Rios to lead off. Center fielder, number 51, Alex Rios. The pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. We're talking about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. No one out and a runner on first. First pitch on the way. Here's a curveball, swung on and missed, 0-1. This guy's all about that power curveball, Gary, and it's a beauty. Here's the pitch, and that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count, defensive stance at the plate. Steve, uh, it is a rare combination, what you were talking about with that power curve, to have that, the movement, and the location. Well, it really becomes a take pitch for the hitter. So many times they just give up on it, thinking that it's a fastball, and then seeing it break out of the zone. A really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. 
Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his at bat going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at bat a little longer. And he gets that one down, his second hit, two for four today. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Steve, sometimes that pitch down the middle you want to drive. He chose to take it the other way. Well, oh, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. And here's Mark Kotze. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And Ibar picks it up. And Kotze retired. And they score him. Quality solid at bat right there. This is what you want to do with a runner on. Find a way to get him in, even if you hit into an out. Runner on at second. RBI opportunity now. Juan Pierre. Well, they're showing no mercy at all. They're just not letting up. Put the pedal to the metal and they keep on going. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So they score once on two hits. One man left. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Five, six, seven hitters to get things started. Look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. And Juan Rivera to bat. He's going to get things going here. Home half, seventh inning. Here's the pitch to Rivera. Slider in the dirt. There is a swing and a liner. And it's through. Base hit, Rivera. That's going to bring Mike Napoli up. Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And here's the first one. Slider misses badly with it. 1-0. Oh. Look, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get outs right now. Catcher can't control it. The throw. And safe. He's in there. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. You've got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Ball. And the pitch misses ball three. Now Mike Napoli can afford to take one, maybe two here. Strike one. And Mike Napoli will work that one to the hitter's count now as he goes three and one. Well, he takes the 3-0 pitch exactly what he needs to do. It might not be a bad idea to take this one as well. They need base runners. And Ramirez fields the ball. And that'll set down Napoli. RBI situation for Bobby Abreu. Bobby Abreu was a free agent after the end of the 2008 season. Put up great numbers with the New York Yankees in 2008. But no team wanted him. The Angels said, you know what, we'll take a chance on him. He rewarded them handsomely. Home runs were down, but 103 RBIs. Another 100 RBI season for the all-star Bobby Abreu. We'll get to see Tony Pena pitching the White Sox turning to a reliever here. 
Well, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. I just, I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have gone and gotten them a little bit earlier. And now the 1 0. Oh. Missed again. 2 and 0. Oh. Poor Bobby Abreu fit right in with what the Angels like to do under uh, their skipper. Socia likes guys to have at bats where you take pitchers deep, get starters out. Swing liner back up the middle. It falls in there, and Rivera will score. Anaheim there continuing. The bats are hot. Number three. One of the rare hitters in all of baseball that really struggles with that pitch right down the middle, but he got his bat on this one and managed to get a hit. The pitch, the fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. He delivers ball. outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Swung on and a grounder to first. And he'll be tagged out along the first baseline. A nice stop by the first baseman there, but the runner able to advance in the scoring position. Nicer is Torres. Runner on second and two outs. Here's the first pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they score once on two hits, one man left. L.A. wants to get back into this one. They are moving in the right direction. Number two hole set to get things started. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Had a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. Ramirez. Here's the delivery. And it goes foul. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit. Curveball got him one away. His pitches complement one another. They work off of each other. And he used a tremendous sequence right there. One, two, three. Strike out. See you later. One out, nobody on. And he starts Canerco out. Sharp curveball, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. His fourth time around, he's gone one for three off Bolger. A line drive towards short. And Canerco retired. Right fielder. Carlos Quentin at the plate with two away. He homered earlier in the ballgame. It's nice to have a bat like this in the lineup because as you're going through the game, you know you've got a chance to score runs every time he comes to the plate. Hits it out of the ballpark. He's driving the ball. He's doing a little bit of everything. Pitch on the way. That swung on line towards the gap in left center. That's going to one hop off the wall. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. A very, very smooth and level swing right there going through that strike zone, and he drives that ball. Now, let's see if this will start a two out rally now that he's on second base. And Beckham's in the box. Lined out last time up. Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. 
Well, they've got them right where they want them. Uh, once again, another runner in scoring position in all game long. They've delivered uh, in the clutch as they have just been pounding the ball offensively. A swing and a miss, strike three, but a chance at first. There's the throw. And there's the throw down to first base, and they got him. Nice play by the catcher. Time to get out of the crouch and get it over to first base ahead of the batter. Sometimes these things can get away from you. He did a great job keeping it in front. Good hustle and a great arm. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Now, Angels, home half of the eighth inning. We've got the top of the order coming up. Eric Ibar leading it off. Number two, Eric Ibar. First pitch, here it comes. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Runs up to Bunt, gets this one down. Picked up by Pena. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. So Howie Kendrick will come up now. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Runner on first base, nobody out. And here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. That is a strike. Kendrick. Let's see how he protects the plate here. And Howie Kendrick got a swing and a miss. He's gone. Big, big break on this pitch as the clock's in at 89 miles per hour. That's a lot of break for that hard pitch. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. It's Morales at the plate. Well, Kendry Morales had his breakout season, and no one knew what to expect from the Angels of what they were going to get from Kendry Morales. But a telltale sign of what they thought he could do, they did not re-sign Mark Teixeira, who wanted to stay there because they wanted to give Kendry Morales that first base job. Grounded up the middle, and he's got it now. And there's one. On to first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. Here's the first pitch to Hunter. Up the middle. Oh, my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. Throws on to first. Side is retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. White Sox nine, the Angels three. As Mike Sosha looks on, he's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. Three for four thus far. And he starts Rios out. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Swing and a miss. He's behind 0 and 2. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Rivera to field this one. It's up against the wall and a bounce. Pulls into second with that double, so he's in scoring position now with nobody out. Well, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. Kenny coming in now to pitch. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. It's going to be Przinski. A lifetime number? Well, 259 off the Angels. Spins, checks him at second. Uh, gets back in time. Liner between first and second. And Morales gloves that one. Now the runner will have to hold at second. For the Chicago White Sox. Third Mark Tian looking to knock in a run. He doubled his last time. One out with a runner at second.
The pitch. Hit in the air. Foul ball. He just couldn't keep it fair. On the way. And he fouls off another one. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. And he's out. They get him with that throw to first base. Uh, Gary was really going for it there, but the catcher's able to get a handle on it. Give it over to first base in time. If he doesn't get it there, who knows what it might lead to. Outstanding hustle to make sure he doesn't get on on a third strike. Two outs and a runner on second. Here's the first pitch to Kotze. Swing and a line to left. And there's Rivera. Pulls it in, third out. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. And we'll see the Angels. Isaac Guillen taking a look at you right there. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. Rivera. And it's Juan Rivera at the plate. Hey! And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. And he gets into the Angels lineup now, John. What about what he's thinking about? Well, Bobby Jenks is one of these big, big closers that come in the game, kind of like they were back in the 80s and the early 90s. A big guy that comes out and throws absolute gas. Easy, smooth motion that generates 98 to 100 mile an hour fastball. He's a strikeout pitcher, and he finishes games. Swings, hits this one in the air down the right field line. That retires Rivera. That's one away. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Mathis at the plate. Donald Strike on one. Career, he's 0 for 1 off Bobby Jenks. 0-1, fastball and a called strike. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four-seamer. And he lays off there, one and two. They thought maybe the hitter was going to open up the plate. They went with the soft pitch, the curveball, down and away, but he couldn't chase. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. That's working in a hurry right there. He didn't mess around wasting pitches. But what that did, that pitch selection did, Gary, was keep the hitter off balance. When you don't waste pitches, you put the hitter back on his heels. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch to Abreu. One one Jenks kicks and deals. Swung on and missed, and this game's history. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today allowed them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. As we check out the highlight reels of our Pepsi Clutch performer, the standout man on offense today, Carlos Quinton. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. Couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. When you take the road, Steve, any win will do, but when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. So glad you could join us. For Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. We'll see you real soon.